your mind is being altered by stoned ape theories with Hubo, Kapowski, and the Dude. A podcast where we alter our perception of reality and discuss the meaning of life on this pale blue dot. My state, my mate. Yo, shiver me testicles, episode 25, what in the fuck is up? My dick is an icicle. It is the same degrees in here as it is the number of this episode. It is fucking (laughs) frigid. (laughs) Episode 25, (laughs) degrees 25, (laughs) out of context, the one piece. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're letting your nuts hang in these temperatures is no, not an is option. Not, no, <laughs> no, they're they're there exclusively <laughs> retracted. <now. laughs> We're rocking ice cubes and for acorns. Real, yeah, yeah. It's just the sack. Like, everything <laughs> yeah. is packed in for the winter. <laughs> Fortunately, not for me. I'm built different. I'm oh, built different. Good, good, good for you, man. But I, I had I have some moments. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Suck them all the way up. Okay. Uh, feel it in your chest. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I all got right. a, I got a milkshake and I got an icy spearmint just in case it wasn't cold enough. Yeah, <laughs> he's going like full Wim Hof. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be passing out later. You're like, I need, you know what I need for this frigid temperature? An ice cold smoothie. That's yeah, right. yeah. That's the spot. Fuck yeah. yeah, nothing like Honestly, a frozen though. beverage <laughs> and a and a mint, an icy cool <laughs> mint. Yeah, feels good. I'm like, yeah, I'll... it ain't too bad. Hmm. He's a White Walker. Oh, I think. Noise. Is it better? Yes. Any better? Yes. Okay. All right. What uh? What the fuck's up? What have we been doing? What a 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 Homie has clips. Homie's got legit clips now. I do Fuck got clips. Yeah. He's got legit clips, and he's like, he's fucking stepping his shit up. Do you he's know what? He's drilling the fundamentals. Nah. I respect it. So we had a talk, and I was like, Fuck you know, yeah. giving him mad props because he's like, he took a video of him just like drilling, fucking drilling and drilling and just practicing and practicing and then fucking nailing. About to it. become the new Andy Anderson style Ooh, bender. Oh, shit. I, I got nice. Nice. technical. Yeah, straight up respect <laughs> Andy Burke, Anderson. Street. Yeah. And I get a little bit of that twinkle, that freestyle skating. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> no, he's really stepping nice. it up. So no, I'm that is, hella proud. Yeah. yeah. Up a touch more. On him? Yeah. 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 Um, how about now? Yeah. Yes. How, how about, about now? Right now? Like it. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, that's fucking awesome, man. That's the shit. Yeah. Uh, the fucking... I just never learned my lesson, though. I'd keep skating on a damaged ankle. Well, you know. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. It's like a perpetually I, I had to ban ankle. myself. Yeah. You're right. Four month ban, but you know it's not even the season to be skating. So, so uh, what yeah. Insta are you gonna be putting the clips on? I'm actually I, I'm gonna make a, a like a clip account nice for my skate shit. Well, when you got it up, let us know. We'll fucking plug it on the pod for sure. Cause I was actually like last night throwing skate together czar. some of my uh, skate czar. Not not I don't have any clips for my streaming shit yet, but I do have uh, an Instagram account for my streaming shit. Now. Yeah, Akira plays right. Uh-huh. Dope. Hell that's yeah, like, that's link just it the all gaming up. stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, that's just yeah. the gaming. Yeah, right. yeah. So and all those. We got links. more shit. We got more shit coming at you. You know, We're about so. to be legitimately gaming. And for any of our own personal shit, check the link in our bio. It's got all the yeah. links to all of our yeah. personal Ow! fucking everything yeah. that we and do. And the website collaboratory dot com. Check it, it out. It is legit. Yeah, yeah. The link may Co- change while it's getting because we're doing work on the website. Ori dot com. Yes. And it, yeah. Also, Patreon. I think something about Patreon. We do got Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting better at this. Yeah. Like, like, subscribe, fucking all the shit. Like, help Link us out. Bio. You know, Once if you we... think we're funny, if you think we're worthy of existing in this sphere, <laughs> you know, help, help us out. <laughs> yeah. Help Honestly, us out. Like, like, Are you worthy? Yeah. I'm still, you know, I'm still fucking with the comedy shit. I'm, I, I've been working on some more stuff recently and like. We- um lately like personally and you know talking with zach and (coughs) the i've been working on some like mastermind shit like mind training type stuff and like oh hell yeah like because we've talked your relationship with money right is different than my relationship with money very much i'm coming from like uh 
you know, a poverty mentality and like, you know, talking with you, like since we've met, like that's been a huge thing, honestly, because the way that you think about money is totally different. And it's given me some perspective as well. And then I got a little chunk of change. Yeah. And got to experience like not having to fucking worry. Worry about. Bro bills about fucking anything we started a bit you know we started we businesses legitimately yeah. we out that, there leveraged it you know we're out here it yeah allowed brother it. Yeah. yeah which is also which is also which is Can't great afford the it heat. is it is all stuff <laughs> yeah. yeah we got caught with our pants down right yeah. now dude Bro, jack yeah. we, frost is nipping on my nuts got like a little heating <laughs> unit yeah right it, it might not help that much but it's something yeah it's something keep your hands down there whatever yeah, yeah. Fucking, but yeah, no, I'm glad it's helped because uh, I've always, I've, I've been lucky enough to always kind of be in that realm of money where I've never had to worry too hard about bills. And I've always worked my ass off to get in that position and then help from fucking family and everything is obviously right. a like, great advantage, but. Yeah, and like it's your still, parents actually you taught privileged you fuck about nuts. finance. It's you one, know? yeah, it's one of the things like, that they dude, taught me about. I was like in my twenties before I learned how to balance a fucking checkbook, and yeah. even then, I never felt confident or comfortable fucking doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, imagine uh, being secure in this world, enough. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for real, right? no, that's serious, exactly. dude. And like, we put in the work <laughs> literally since January when we had the first fucking collaboratory meeting yeah. was in January. We're almost, you know, we're a couple months out from you know for, from the new year but like only we've been two. grinding we're, we're fucking almost we've, there like it really is not there. long like right? exactly a couple months out <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah exactly and, two um, months out yeah. yeah and so dude this year has been a profound year uh like all around like all i've around. learned yeah, very much so, so much like uh about myself ah. about like what my potential is and what I'm willing to do for other people yeah. for money and yeah, what, yeah. where, Fuck where I can it is make. to live out in the West Side. Yeah, yeah. and get and get the freedom because <laughs> like I've always had the best. The uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I've always had the financial freedom of like not necessarily having to worry about bills, but that only came from having you know a stable job and everything, and yeah. and that's great and all to be able to have that. And I'm I'm very thankful for all the employment that I've had up until this point. But man, running our own shit. The only time God, you have yeah. to worry about best. bills is when you work for Bill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's funny. That uh, honestly was one of the times in my life where I was the most like, oh, fuck, about money. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I know. <laughs> yeah, but you're not but, stressed about his check going through for you. You're like, man, does Bill, how's Bill's bills? Going? Yeah, no, literally. Right? Like, yeah. I, was, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't <laughs> worried about the check going through on my end. I was mathing. worried about the the continual checks. Because yeah, yeah. in my head, it was always like that, like uh, waiting for the other shoe to drop, like, can yeah. I really afford? Because I'm always in the in the mind of can I really afford this? Yeah. And like 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 this e rig for instance, like I could have afforded this thing like fucking years ago, yeah. but I didn't finally pull the trigger on it until now. And it's because it, now like the expense of it wasn't even fucking yeah. quantifiable. Like I didn't miss the money at all once it was gone. You didn't and, have to think about it. Yeah, and being in that position, like it's still you know it's still a fucking good purchase, and I'm still like I'm not gonna do it every fucking day, but right. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, being able to have a few hundred dollars set aside for for a big purchase here and there. Well, like it's like nice. I like how you described it before as like small baller moves. Yeah. You know, like it's not a big baller move. You know, you're not renting a private jet or yeah. like anything. There's like that. a right. lot of but little like, small baller moves that I love to this fucking year small been baller packed. moves. This go year hard. has been packed full of them. You know, yeah. like I've allowed myself to develop a different relationship with money. You know, trying to make some moves. I want to show him. You know, like a different way, you know, to approach it because I've known the struggle. struggle. I know the fucking struggle. Yeah, yeah you, know, you can like, tell anyone been, how to make it through yeah, the struggle. I've been on the struggle. Yeah, yeah. And so that it's it's one of those things where it's like I'm tired of struggling. Like I'm yeah. tired of like going paycheck to paycheck, feeling you know tired, broke, not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not having any savings in the bank, and yeah. it was just it got to a point. To where, you know, we decided, you know, we're like, fuck, like you do this, like fucking let's do this. Like, we, yeah. you know, and, and this year. Yeah. And there was literally a moment where we had, we had a moment where it was like, there's no reason for us to be doing this for the money that we're doing it for right now. Yeah. We could yeah. be doing the exact same thing yeah. for ourselves and be getting paid 
three times as much, yeah. if not more. Right. And since then, like the dominoes have just been falling into place, and it's just been a matter of capitalizing on each one of those and being set up to to, to fucking actually take care of it. And I can't really like relate to you guys like that because I'm not a full blown adult yet. But I remember when I first started working <laughs> with you guys, I did not know how to manage my fucking money. Yeah. I remember I'd get my check, and I'm like. Fuck it. What can I spend this shit on, yeah, bro? Well, it, was like, it was like a mini Christmas each time well, I got and, that check. But and, no. like, you started working around, like, 16, 17. And so for yeah. a normal 16, 17-year-old, that's normal. That's Thankfully, normal. I, yeah. was, I was raised in, like, since I started working at 16, like, when I got that first paycheck, yeah. I didn't spend on shit. I've been just, like, all the money that I've been able to use to live my adult life since turning fucking 18 was all money that i made before that Mm -hmm. and fucking so i've always known the power of saving and just having funds in different areas like i yeah and like investing that's why i was saying like i can't really relate to that (laughs) yeah so like i've I've always been trained like the moment i get my check 60 40 split like and if i can 60 of that is going 60 percent of it is going into savings well what you're talking about right now i will live off of what I've been doing recently, like only recently did I like realize how you could like split your money into savings and spendings and actually be like uh smart with your finance. Yeah. yeah. Which and is wild that with your finances. You know, like I didn't realize fully that like not everyone was raised with these fucking like because for me, like since the age of five, it Bro, was like not everybody my has mom, those vices. My mom is the queen of like anytime England? you get money, she'll just go, You don't actually have that money. <laughs> the queen of England. Yeah. I was like, look at all this money. And she's like, You're still poor. I'm yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> Bro, it happened right. today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know, it started with the collaboratory. Yeah. We had that first uh meeting and then we, you know, that's why we're here. You know, we started the podcast. Podcast. we've been steady at it we haven't dropped it you know what i'm saying it slowed down a little bit we kind of got <laughs> overwhelmed you know trying to do it ourselves yeah. but then we hired a you know a production manager um now we got brennan helping us here Woo! Brenda! Joseph smith in the house <coughs> live and direct Ow! um but but yeah man it's been it's been consistent you know and it's you know learning your value and 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 valuing the thing in your skills and valuing like and just knowing what you bring to the table like it started <laughs> with art right we're like oh shit and you're like oh yeah you're you're artistic and it's like oh fuck you know we're having dope conversations every day you're in the artistic truck. too yeah, yeah well and, and and i was making money i've I been making my, money yeah, i might be a little myself. artistic myself <laughs> he, but he opened up he opened that up because i wasn't on that mentality and that's why i bought the fucking ipad <laughs> right he showed me uh, procreate possibilities feel- yeah dude and it literally my brain exploded and i was able to like in a very short period of time learn the program and like you know start doing some dope shit and it's like he you know was he had the the formula to like monetize it and he had already been doing it selling you know uh his products and like yeah, he had selling merch. apparel and, and the main one was freelance like yeah, i've been doing some, freelance yeah. graphics for a long while now and i've been continuing to try to do more of it because i i do love doing it like when someone comes to me and i get to do a design and then they put it on their building or some shit like that is the wildest thing for me is like when it, there's a piece of art that I made while getting super stoned in my underwear at home just on a building somewhere, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. And like, I got paid for this? this Dude, is if they nuts. could smell that picture, bro. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, scratch and sniff. Yeah. 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 I had Dude, like that'd a, be funny as fuck. Like, like what is that, ball sweat? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I had like a brain exploding moment the other day. All right. Uh, like you were talking about, because okay. I had no idea what fucking bartering was oh, at all and like shit. Okay. brendan over here was telling me about it and it really did like kind of warp my brain because that's a whole nother realm that that's like how the whole world used to do commerce yeah, yeah. but people don't talk about <laughs> that service anymore for service yeah. that yeah. is not yeah. something like i'm pretty sure my generation has ever heard of before in their fucking yeah life. i had i had heard <laughs> of bartering mainly because i had started to do you played a video game that had a bard in it yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I know what a bard is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. but no, like literally, I heard that and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And he explained it to me, and then everybody started talking about it, and I was just like, "You can do that." Yeah, like you can offer your services in exchange for like people's goods. Yeah, or right. like free passes and shit. That doesn't make like that didn't make sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, because yeah, you don't you don't need you know you need money 
numbers to be able to do things. Well, if you're just able to do the things without the numbers, then you don't need that many numbers. Right? You it, know? Bro, it's so crazy. Then it's, so then it's just reducing your overhead while still increasing the fucking, uh, you know, your gross income. Like that's that's all money is is just a fucking balancing act of of your overhead and your expenses, and then what it actually takes to fucking do the things you want to do. Yeah, and then it's just balancing that. And and so this year, uh, where you have been like fully rewrapping your head around money and like what I just explained, yeah, I've been wrapping my head around like really honing in just like my skills and my knowledge of like let me just learn like how to do shit. Yeah. Because then, like, from the most basic of, like, if you can hang fucking Christmas lights, you can make money. Like, that's what we've been doing this week. <laughs> and it's yeah, wild. Dude. Like, actually wild. Yeah, bro. Professional Christmas lights. It Talking is, to these it business is people yeah. about walk. Christmas lights. Yeah. It's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make no sense. It's, yeah. You know, we went from being employees. To Which we were our, never very good at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> good workers. Great workers. Good, yeah, yeah, great workers. Yeah, it's we we do workers. the work. We do good yeah. work. Never but, had any complaints on the actual work. Yeah, but <laughs> as employees, employees oh, you know, like if you don't go no. through the Many employee complaints. handbook, like, yeah, we do not. You have to be here on time. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Punctuality <laughs> is not yeah. the number one on my yeah. list. There was, yeah. like, achievements for all the things you're not supposed to do in the terms of service. We oh, got shit. all of yeah. them. No, <laughs> Even unlocked. I but completed that, that game at 100%, bro. <laughs> when it's your <laughs> job, but it's different when it's your job. Oh, yeah, because then you don't told want... the client yeah. that you're going to be there at a certain time, and it's like, yeah. oh, well, guess what? I That's an and agreement even if that I, have I to... made. Yeah. I didn't, this is not a third-party agreement made by someone else that I'm going to show Well, up. also, and even I if I have to make, that I'm gonna even show if up. I'm going to be 30 minutes late because of some unexpected, like I get held up at another job, most yeah. people are understanding if you oh, just yeah. shoot them a text and be yeah. like, hey, I'm going to be a little late. And they're like, okay, whatever. Yeah. And yeah. you're like, oh, cool. Well, then there's all the stress ever removed because yeah. now they know, yeah. and I'm not have to. Because before it's like, is the client going like, to be okay with it? Unless it's time sensitive, it okay always works the, out. Is the, yeah. is, the, is the boss going to be okay with it? And then now I'm like, if I'm asking if the boss is okay with it, I just have to ask myself. I'm like, are you okay with this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, and like, dude, this whole thing is crazy because like I've got to learn, you know, like working with uh, how do we. Who do, do mom? Why working with your mom? What yeah, no, yeah, 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 your no, mom. Yeah, like, I don't want to like yeah. use her name. You know, no, don't, don't use her name. But yeah, my but mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah, been working with your, your mom, mom. Yeah. and just seeing that side of business because it's like that shit is to me is daunting. But she's like having fun with it, and she's oh, like, oh yeah, yeah. She's you a know fucking who else does taxes. She's yeah. a fucking <laughs> maniac with that shit. Yeah. And so like, I you know all of my knowledge. From money and everything it has come from her, head, but right. even now, her reiterating all this stuff or reteaching me, and a lot of it's me learning for the first time too, because yeah. she never yeah, would have thought to man. fucking teach me about it, you know. Yeah. Um, and so now, yeah, it's what's this expense for? It's like, oh, I've I'm just paying for gas. You can't do that. I'm like, why? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And no, then, like, learning all the abstract fucking rules around numbers and how they work, you're like, this is crazy. Why does numbers have so many rules? It's, yeah, it's Do a muscle wild. man for us. And, no. Come and on, this is, please. And this is, please. Where, this is where it's... The it's, audience needs it. This is where it's very fun to, like... <laughs> like, I was raised with, like, that, like, if you have money... You don't have money. Take your shirt off and start And this is now it. why. Is, I'm learning why her brain is like that. Is because no, when I she's doing raised, her numbers, she's I was like, raised, you don't have money. No, there's no money. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> like, like that, a little different. Yeah. Like, you actually had money. You just pretended yeah. like you didn't. Yeah, like, exactly. Managed a, a, like a, a, a budget. Yeah. Right. And it's like, n no budget. Yeah, there is no budget. No, so, yeah. For me, it's like, I just <laughs> pretend like I'm broke. What you money? Know? Yeah, yeah, I just pretend like I'm broke. Like I, I, I do have a nice, a nice, healthy investment account that I don't even fucking. Uh, nope, and that's <laughs> I don't a whole even, other side that we I don't need even. Are do. you still doing an investment stocks? portfolio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still are. How is that going? Yeah, I've got a. I, I have a long term dividend investing portfolio through Robinhood, and it is going good. For a Hell while yeah. there, I boosted it to over ten thousand, just so it was fucking creating interest and shit. And then the stock market crashed. Um, thankfully with dividends, you, uh, still continue to make money even if the stock market crashes and you still continue to, cause how dividends work is the company pays you a little bit of money for owning, owning their stock. Some companies do it every month. 
uh, some don't. It, the companies aren't required to. Your your game is trying to figure out what companies pay the most dividends, their growth rates, and if they're going to continue to pay dividends. So how you do that is there's there's stocks and companies that are called aristocrat dividend stocks, and when they're aristocrat, it means they've been paying their dividends consistently for the last fifty years. Hell yeah! So companies like that are Johnson and Johnson, and um, various Johnson and Johnson is the big one. Yeah, I'm sure it's and all so, the best corporations. Oh yeah, they're the best corporations to buy stocks for. Like, if you want to make sure that the <laughs> that world will continue to be ruined, but yeah. that you still have money, <laughs> the best it. corporations. It's so depressing. <laughs> like, listen, it's, dude, you're, dude, uh, it's so depressing. What, what, what it has made me Sad. realize, also, like, oh, getting I more and more invest into in this, good this companies. Like, what, really? what it has made me realize, the more and more we've been Minty into this, is like, stick. if you yeah. want the world to be a good place, you can't make money. Right. <laughs> exactly. and so it's like as long well, you as can, you just have to make ethical money yes and which is be a lot harder to do than and so this is where we're making ethical money i'm just investing in the companies that aren't doing it ethically just so that you know if right. she hits the fan i'm still getting yeah. money from them you know yeah. way to go paying for monsanto yeah, yeah. <laughs> well yeah and so you kind of opened me up to that the investing side and like um, managing money in and yeah, and so I haven't I haven't put any money into it for the last few months, but we've been allocating those funds for more business yeah uh, shit and, and reinvesting in that way. So that's been that's been nice to do starting and been to pay very off. worth it. But starting to pay off very much for so. Starting real? To, no, very much so. It are most of it has already been paid off, and now Whoop. it's just making us money at this point, yeah. which is which is where we want to be. Yeah. And so you know, as much as I can play pretend like i'm a fucking Bugworm. dumb stoner i <laughs> am but i also have just enough understanding of money to where i'll hopefully never be broke you know who yeah. actually goes dumb when they get stoned you <laughs> yeah this guy <laughs> <laughs> i cannot handle that shit anymore dog uh, i remember i literally i took like a micro piece of that brownie i was talking about and i got so fucking high it felt like my head was upside down dude. i can't do this <laughs> shit anymore meanwhile like when a, i'm when i'm kid, sitting the when kid I, on family guy with the upside down <laughs> face <laughs> when I'm, that was me dude when i'm <laughs> sitting at me. home like and i have to like <laughs> go Timmy over Turner a spreadsheet when i have to go over like a spreadsheet or something or like figure out what to do with my money or i just got i will literally sit there and take like two dabs and be like all right let's think about this like, hold yeah. on, let me think about this real Need quick. Need some brain well, juice. That's not how that works. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> for me, I don't know. It just, like, it helps Can't me. Can't do that? It helps me meter out the thoughts in my brain and think more clearly for the most part. There is a there is the point of diminishing return for where me, I do want to just get stoned and not think button. about shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right away. One, right away. <laughs> instant. <laughs> literally, the moment I get high, panic button. Panic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you've just been you, crazy recently with the business. Yeah. Like, stressing me out. Justin's like, don't fucking stress out. No, you yeah, and I have been pussy. in the same. You have yeah. been. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm super supportive, and and I feel no, like it's how great. I you communicate. Have been support is like different. You know, I might bust your balls a little bit, but it's really no. You challenge. have been my anti-anxiety liaison because no, I, I I get into the same mode as Brendog, where I'm just like, fucking money didn't come in today. Are we gonna have? Are we? Are I don't? Are we? I think we're going to go broke. And then yeah. you're like, no, 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 no. We're, we're fine. We're fucking yeah. fine. We're just yeah. keep doing it. And then it keeps, just keeps working. Like, all right, all right. Like, no, 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 no. There's tens of thousands of more dollars coming. Yeah, exactly. Right? And then I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting at, I'm sitting at home. Like, and I realize like, I'm still sitting at home doing the things that are making me money. Like I'm working yeah. on my fucking yeah. art and shit. That's going to make me money. And I'm like, why am I worried? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, like I've just been so fucking trained in that like anxiety mindset with money that like, you know, for you, what you've taught me about money is actually to stress less about it. Because before I've only been taught stress around money. Money has only ever been equated to stress. That's why I've always lived so minimally is because I'm like money is stress. Money equals this is food what and has been clothes. Yes. Because like as much as I, <laughs> as much as my mom loves her job, maybe guess bills. what? For fucking. 10 years there she did not <laughs> yeah yeah she didn't she likes her job now because she's semi-retired and can do it she, she chooses wants. she's choosing to do it now yeah now before, but before yeah. it was like 65 hour weeks minimum every Easy, week yeah. and mm -hmm. like 
just come home and like oh, try to like no. parent as well, but it just wouldn't. Well, and so no, like, she right. just throws a hard boiled <laughs> egg at your head and hits you in the stomach. She's well, like, it was eat, nice. Eat my dinner, pussy. My, my dad's always <laughs> my dad's always worked at the state, so he's always had like a pretty all right schedule. Yeah. But then he's, he has so many projects and shit that Bro. he wants to do. He's also a spastic monkey. Yeah. So that like five hours. He would he would he would come home like and get me from the bus stop hours. or or fucking. You know, for a while there, my school was right next to his work, so I just walked to his work and sit Too in much. his truck for a while until <laughs> yeah. he was ready. And then, like, he'd just come home and then keep doing his projects while I was just left to my own devices. Yeah, because like they just always keep running and moving, which is great. I learned that, but I also learned the stress behind that as well. Yeah. Of like, got a like, question? You just right. keep moving. So that it never. Well, Bro, have any of you ever worked a sixty-hour work week? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yes. very much so. What yeah. the I fuck? I did. Two yeah. hundred hour work weeks last summer. What? Doing building stages. Yeah, that's oh, where you hell just... no, <laughs> bro. Yeah, I told no. you, you don't understand the level of crazy that this man bro, is. That shit is <laughs> not I'm trying okay. to let you know. Like I remember guy. my first forty hour work week, and that was when we were doing four day work weeks, dude. Yeah. That when shit my, was miserable. When my, <laughs> when my in friends the suck too. It was in the suck. Yeah. <laughs> when my friends were like, oh man, I'm working fucking forty hours a week. I'm like, oh, is that part time? <laughs> yeah. 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 What? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> what were you gonna say? <laughs> Oh, I was I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> that whole thing, you know, was only possible because of my renewed understanding of money and the whole small baller shit. Yeah. Because I literally was like, Okay, there's things that I've always wanted to do, you know, and um did it go off? That's fine. Bryce will put up the little thing and it'll be like, Camera yeah. will return in a few minutes and then it'll be good. Yeah. Um but yeah, like we got to do a lot of fucking shit. We made goals. We set out to fucking do shit, you know, and we did it. You know, we got to go out for, you know, his birthday and your birthday and kind yeah. of combine that. Oh, that go out yeah. to the ocean. That was all and, and fucking yeah. yeah, and try to, you know, and now we got our, Those our electric fucking bikes. director of dopeness yeah. over here that's about to take it to the next Mr. level. D. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you know, ultimately like we're creative people. And we we're working on this other business, right? But ultimately, we've talked. My goal is to hire myself out of a position, yeah. and, and just be creative full time. Yeah, because no, that's and that, where, that is one hundred percent. We the really goal. thrive, and it's like well, and even even the business stuff that we're doing now, which isn't inherently it's blue collar, yeah. But there is a level of creativity to it just in terms of like the business decisions that we've made or the industries that we've tried to go into. Yeah. Like, it, it, but the only reason we've been able to do that is because we've had the time to sit down and fucking think about it and be creative about it. Yeah. So the more I can be in that position where I can make business decisions and creative decisions for our shit Fuck yeah. and then continue to create and make shit, that's ultimately where, where the goal is. And turns out it's also where the money is. Yeah. <laughs> well, cause like, yeah. I would like to do collaboratory full time. Like ultimately, I would like to shift all of my energy to yeah. that. Set Bro, up, and it's know, gonna happen people, too. Hire the people that we need. We talked about a strategy a little bit about hiring the you know the business people that yeah. we need to run the business. You know, hiring project managers, hiring you know all that shit out, and get after those big contracts. Yeah, right. right. So that's kind of like we're it's going the world after of, those. Big the world contracts. of contracts is what opened my eyes with this business because before that, I've always done work on the side. And everything that's all residential and residential is great and there is definitely money in residential yeah. but there is not as much money in residential as there is in major government contracts right and commercial contracts yeah because yeah. the and, government and ones the government ones because government has so much red tape let's go get those tax dollars just, yeah. Yeah. let's go yeah. get those tax dollars we need grants too oh the grant writer yeah we know a person that writes grants oh, on saturn oh, barter oh shit yes Yes, bro. Oh, that's awesome. That Baller. shit right there made my fucking dick so hard. Well, all these were talking about. It's like I need bro, to meet this person. I was like, immediately. <laughs> immediately. Dude, yeah, I was like, I, I, I don't know what we gotta well, do to my, set that up. One of my favorite yeah, things about fuck, you dude. is that you will, like, I do get tired of conversation sometimes. Yeah, and I will just, and I won't. I'll just like, ah, fuck it, and I won't ask like the questions I need to, or mm. won't be as assertive. You don't have that problem at all. You don't well, have that yeah, problem yeah, in no. the fucking slightest, which is, which is <laughs> yeah. fantastic because yeah. a lot of the opportunities we have gotten is because like either I'll make the connection or or Brendog will make the connection, but then you will just sit and talk to them for fucking three hours, right? 
and yeah. that's what we need because I will and, not and sit you and enjoy it. it. Yeah, you will act. Oh, you yeah. will actively no, totally. enjoy it. Yeah, and I won't because like, the whole time yeah. I'm there, I'm just thinking. Especially if it's like a work client, I'm just thinking of how I have to fulfill all the shit they're talking about. <laughs> ah. And so it just stresses me out. And eventually, after like 30 minutes, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll be in contact, and then I'll just fucking leave. <laughs> No, uh, yeah. I I can't stand those business meetings with all the business owners and <laughs> like well and you, I'm just you like, went and you were like I had a blast and oh, like, yeah. dude, no, I felt like I was in him. my element keep bro. going I was to like him. in the zone it was like, like white noise or something like man no no yeah right money, exactly. money. no what did teachers sound like <laughs> <laughs> hold on blah, what blah, 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 no 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 the <laughs> other one the other one um, oh duh <laughs> 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 exactly. Dude, this shit had me fucking dying. And he's like, oh, yeah, what did teachers sound like? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, yeah, no. I can imagine that's what those business meetings are like, kind of like sometimes. Though. Honestly, yeah. no, it's like you kind of feel that way. You he hear what everybody <laughs> is bringing to the table, right? Everyone says what they do. And then you kind of you seek out. You can tell. You know what I'm saying? See, it's like you, you understand the game and you understand the vibes and you understand yeah, where yeah. to go, which is good because where I want to go in those situations is out Home. the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like, when can I smoke again? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so as, can, we can't smoke in. We can't smoke in here. So <laughs> is anybody going outside? Because I'm about to step out. You know what? All right. I'll just leave. <laughs> no, I like. I like trying to figure out like what their vision is. You know, so if it's a client and we're talking and consulting about what what services they need and or want, whether it's like an instant, Mr. whatever it is, Dream whatever. Chaser. No, and with how yeah. much your body is fucked up, right. that's what you need to be doing. I know, like, dude. The light, off, yeah. the light bulb went off. The light bulb went off this sales. week when I when it yeah. when I started doing it, and it was like yeah, well, well we especially like well, because while you were doing those business meetings, we were doing those Christmas lights. And yeah, so we were working. I didn't even have to fucking think about it, and it was nice <laughs> to just know in the back of my head that like, oh, we're getting more work. We're doing a business meeting right now. It's great. Yeah. It's being taken oh, care of, yeah, and I don't have to. I can just sit here and fucking staple lights. Bro, and that's me. That is oh, honestly, a thousand times more fun. That one house we were on, it was hell was steep, bro. Being on the top, yeah. of the very top roof. I had a fucking moment where I stepped on one of the clips, and I fucking like I stumbled, and I just remembered how tall, yeah, like, how steep that fucking ledge was. That's careful, that was mortified. Yeah, the roof itself Look, wasn't drop, very steep, but the drop, drop off. I had to a fucking starfish, bro. I had to like take a minute. Patrick, yeah. Patrick, yeah. yeah. Dude. The you gotta watch where you put your feet. Bob. Exactly. Every single step. Dude, every don't time. Don't move without stress. You can't be comfortable. No. no. I kind of, see. I kind of like it. I like it in a weird way because it 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 removes all the chatter in my brain. Yeah. Because. Well, like, then you don't I'm really not have worried to think about, about anything, anything else, else other than keeping myself alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, like when I was on that fucking, I was on a bit, I was on the tall ladder. It wasn't on the roof, but I was on that window that's right below the second story right there. And I moved over to grab a seat and the, and the ladder went like a little bit. And I was like, straight panic. <laughs> Dude. All right, I took a I took a video yeah. up there and I was like, bro, if this is my final destination, if I fall off, and that was like showing how fucking when, steep it when was. You, when you when you came up on the roof after me and you found me taking the panoramic, we you can hear in videos. that panoramic of you going, oh, dude, you got it. It's mandatory. You <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to. You have to no, take we the panoramic when you get up there. On our Facebook. Of up on top of the roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Any should. pictures? Yeah. Any pictures? Any of that? Like. We we need to like get them on the website, get them on our, for yeah. sure. our, our socials we'll and be shit on for Kelton's that. roof soon. Yeah. yeah, you think that last roof was steep? <laughs> no, the pitch, the pitch of that roof is literally yeah, twice as bro. Oh, it's God. twice as steep, <laughs> but it's like five more feet higher that's, too. That's the so one, it's like and not I'm not more steep. And I will tell you this before we start doing that job. That's the one that sketches me out. That's yeah. like I do not. They could. Hey, I don't get bro, sketched, anybody to hire him last year. Yeah, bro. I don't get too sketched out by too many roofs. <laughs> if we do that, that lighting system, scared. though, if we do that lighting system, we a boom. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to convince them to do trim lights. Yeah. If you can, that'd be great because then we just rent a man lift, and that's yes. much much better. Well, we're going there right mm. after. Oh this. my god! Oh, I know exactly. Wait, 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 wait! If we Business we wouldn't meeting. even have to go up there because we'd have a bucket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Bro. Well, except for on the backside. 
Probably Except on the back, on the no, back yeah. side. Access, and I can do access. all the sketchy I, stuff. I, I no, wish we had but a there's picture road, of his hey, roof. There's an access sandals. road to <laughs> his. There's an access road to his backyard, yeah. right? Uh-huh. So yeah, we could bring it back. We, oh shit! We could well, even do the backside with the lift. Well, with you the boom. Like a, Your butt would pucker if you saw lift. this. Yeah, that lift has to be nuts big. I was just in his backyard, like where that access. Like my memory isn't. They're like the side of the house makes it look tiny, and then you like actually scope it out and that thing that place is literally fucking it, huge because it's on the side of a cliff so literally if you look <laughs> on the like from the front you're like oh nice modest two-story that's you know that's a pretty big house but that's and then you look on the side and you see fucking three balconies yeah <laughs> layers yeah. Yeah. yeah layers three balconies <laughs> and then like and then like 15 more feet of just like plant beds and yeah. then a fucking like Bro. fireplace down yeah. below and you're like oh never mind how many <laughs> gardens <laughs> yeah Oh, dude, well, he insane. wants a hot tub down there. He wanted me to of bed it out Of course they him. do. Yeah. Of course they want a yeah, hot tub. Yeah, but the shoring that would be required for that hillside, right. though, <laughs> like, you literally have to have, like, an engineer. And, like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Bro, to they have that, sets you know? of stairs going into their backyards. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. It is It is one of my favorite things about, about working the job that we do is getting to go to affluent people's houses. Yeah. It's. It feels like, it, and then, it, it and then they put their like money Wonderland. in our bank. Yeah, it entirely feels <laughs> yeah. like I should. Like, I feel like they should already be paying me just for the fact that I get to be at their fucking house. I'm yeah. Like, this is cool. <laughs> yeah. like yeah. when we were up, when we were up on the top of I that roof doing those review. holiday lights, half of the fucking half of my thought process was like, man, look at this view. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, no, the view <laughs> oh, up there is amazing. Cool. Jealousy, mm. instant jealousy. They yeah. literally have a crystal clear view. Of the side of Mountain Rainier, yeah, bro, that Ma- shit is massive, massive, yeah. bro. Over, over the beautiful. whole valley too, like they, the whole. And, yeah, valley. they're not in the Lahar zone either. No, right there. Yeah. No, they just bro. they can watch all the fucking <laughs> <laughs> the disaster unfold at their oh, at their shoreline. Yeah, bro, it's like fucking. They'll literally be sitting up there with their popcorn in their fucking yeah, buckets, just like watching it like it's TV. That camera's dog. still alive. <laughs> yeah. So nice. Fuck. Yeah, so I don't know. Like we went, we went this year. We went from being employees. We from have, being depressed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, it, then, then it's just been like, look, we we were pursuing the creative shit. Like I didn't That's realize ultimately... how trapped I felt until we started doing this shit. Right? And I was like, oh. And then you're like, is... what the fuck do we have to right. do to do that full time? Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's like, like oh, I will shit. do this. For, yeah. What do I have to do? Just I can't let me know stand I being an employee. Like right. It wrecks my soul. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, dude. Oh, bro. And it's for somebody so that you don't even know. Like, right. Bro, fuck all of oh, that. Oh, dude. When we, when we met the boss for the company that we worked for previo- right previous to Laughing this. stock. Dude, I was like, I don't know. Oh, never. you're talking uh, yeah. Balthazar? Oh, <laughs> not. No. Full boss. Big boss. Big, big. The big boss of that company. Oh, Terrell? Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah, that shit. I, once I met her and I was like, she could never, she doesn't care about any, we could not, no one gives, why am I doing this? Why am I working for you? No, you don't care about me. You don't even know me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not only don't care, didn't even acknowledge your existence. Distance, like bro. this lady was operating in a world of her own. It was fucking crazy. Yeah. Like we walk in, we're being introduced to the owners of the company, to all the fucking bigwigs, right? We're saying hi. She doesn't even acknowledge us. On her phone. Us. Yeah, doesn't wow. even acknowledge us. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and we're being brought in as, like, the lead techs at this company, right? right? She could fucking care less. Yeah. Right? Like, like, we were brought in as a big deal, and oh, everyone, oh. all the other, like, the board of directors <laughs> was treating us like a big deal, and then she was like, eh. Yeah, they did mm-hmm. not, wow. they did not have an <laughs> irrigation branch, Right, yeah. they did not have an irrigation branch. They brought us in to build that out. <laughs> we they fired us. we worked ourselves. <laughs> well, here's what, happened. No, here's what happened. We worked ourselves out of a job. We we did too much work too fast, and then they said, "Oh, we've fulfilled all the work orders." There's you know, and so it started to slow up. And then it was, it, I don't know, the timing, I don't know, it's, it was a funny ass it year. It was goofy. Yeah, it was a funny ass year, but it was like the timing couldn't have been perfect. Even for me losing the previous job, going into the new company, it happened flawlessly. Yeah. It happened effortlessly. It was like, I brought him on. Layup dude, after fucking, layup after layup. Bro, oh, yeah, dude. this year, like we grinded, not like it was, it was a grind. Like we grinded no, the fuck we out this they year. They weren't shooting threes. They were shooting yeah. half courts. Here's, yeah. <laughs> here's, the, here's the fucking thing that I've, Very I've been. Very few L's. 
things that I've been thinking about a lot with that of like how do we keep this this luck going and then I realized it's not it's luck it's not luck no no and, no. and then it's and then it was a work. matter of it's a like a lot of work yeah <laughs> it doesn't feel like the work that I'm doing it doesn't feel like work yeah. but like, then well, if I at the end of the day when I lay my head down on my pillow and I think back on all like even just the minute shit that I did today it's like oh I set up an account for this that account's gonna be open forever and we never have to do that step again yeah. it was like instead and of doing being... little things like that like we just said like, you guys just went out and set up a bunch of pro accounts for all the fucking places for our other business and like just having that is like oh that step's done. Yeah. Another step right. done. And yeah. it's for us. Like, the only people benefit, it's for us. You just yeah. keep <laughs> going down the fucking step. And then it's just a matter of having the willingness to put in a few late nights and a few fucking. Yeah. And the just, grind. And yeah. I love so, the grind. So the now grind when fires you, me up. Yeah. Like, so I, now I, when you go to bed and you go to sleep, instead of going to sleep and being tired from negative stress, you're going to sleep and being tired from positive stress. And most of the time I'm not <laughs> even tired. Right. Which is the yeah. mo- which is the best part. Is, well, is what, like what you mean is you're not exhausted. exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, not fucking not, exhausted. Right. Tired, but not exhausted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, bro, it's good. It's good. And you just give up the ghost. Right. You're just like. <laughs> exactly. Now those the hundred hour weeks, I was exhausted. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah well, you just go home and sleep, and that's it. Yeah. And like, or you, you mow yeah. something real quick, just fucking munch. And yeah. Pass yeah. Out, Sounds. Drink awful. a beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's pass sixteen out, it hour all. days. Yeah. Do it all again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've worked some. In, I haven't. I've never that done a hundred. I think yeah. the max I've ever done was like eighty two or something. But yeah. that's still. Yeah. Far, far too much. Yeah. And like and yeah, like right. you said, this last company it's not we worked human. Our, we worked ourselves out yeah. of a job. We right. did too much work too quickly. Yeah. Like by the end of that company, Legitimately. We were fucking off. We were fucking <laughs> off because we were told to. We were told to fuck off or else we we're gonna get fired. So it's like Yeah, it's like fucking, you have to go and pretend to do stuff. Yeah. That was legitimately what it came down to. Because we were required to go on site and do inspections and make sure, you know, do blow, whatever it was, do the winter services. But, um, yeah, dude. And then at that point, silly. it became a tremendous waste of time. Because I realized that, like, if you... It became exploration. Yeah, you could be putting your energy and time into well, this. And I realized, like, there are people who are okay with working a fucking just a nice, stable 40-hour a week. Five. Yeah, 40-hour yeah. a week job. And... and not having to worry about because running a business it is a lot to fucking keep track of yeah. and i will say that like with everything that we're doing we have a lot of moving parts and so they're it's, complacent with being a pet yeah yeah, yeah. i'm not <laughs> when i when i used to do high-rise window washing in seattle in the winter time and it's raining and fucking no you just don't rigid you don't and i'd be on the side of like a high-ass skyscraper and watch people do their office work in their building in their cozy little yeah, I'd be rooms. Like, or I was always like, man, I, I'm so much happier. Yeah, exactly. Out here. Like, I'd much yeah. rather be on this window, <laughs> right? You light up a cigarette and you're like, check out what you guys can't do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they call that? They call that the hedonic treadmill. You know, where you just like, it's basically the carrot is the money in front of you. Yeah. You're just on this treadmill. Bah, 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 you know. Um, well, and, and what I've learned is like, especially like, and, and blue collar people have it figured out. I've met a few blue collar people who have it figured it the fuck out where they do just like work. Like they've mastered one skill and become just a technician and they get paid a stupid amount of money to do fucking minimal work that they've done. And they're just content with doing You're that. talking like union trade yeah, people. Like, yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Back up a little like, bit. And if I wasn't doing. You back up a little bit. Yeah. If I wasn't Thank doing you. this business. I just couldn't see Ryan. Oh, okay. If I if I. You know, if I wasn't doing this business, eyes. that would be the other route that I would be going down. Yeah. Is that? And I just realized. Well, you like, did go down it for a minute. Yeah, you did, and you yeah. sh- you quickly realized. Oh fuck that! How yeah. dreadful it is. Yeah. Well, and I also realized that like there are some people who are just like totally fucking cool with it. Like if you want to like, understand, just, like what, well, they're complacent. What it's like yeah. they you, you know, don't even have to work there. You can just drive by construction workers and look at their faces. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe yeah. ask them if they're happy while <laughs> you're at it. Well, dude, the hedonic treadmill isn't set up for you to actually go anywhere. No. It's busy work. Like it's just you know, round yeah. and round and round. So and round the happiest round people round. I have found in that system are the people who realize it is just busy work and are just cool with doing busy work. Yeah. So like right. it doesn't matter. And I know it doesn't matter, but I'm just like, and you know, I so, never had that. I some n- could people, never adopt that. And I realized that like some people just want like a life of entertainment, you know, like, 
they, they go home and like just sit and watch TV or fucking go to their job and they just have like minor amusements or whatever that like and I don't get that. I doesn't that sounds dreadful to me. I'm like I want to make something, I want to yeah. do something, I want to feel like I want to feel like I am living my and and you know, if you talk to them, they do feel like they're living. And in my head I'm like do they really though? Mm-hmm. Did you get deep enough? That's yeah, no, how and, and I feel listen, about of, football people. Yeah, well, and some of them. I are. feel <laughs> that about football people, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I would rather shoot myself in the fucking face. Some of them are. Listen to people <laughs> really talk about good. football or talk about <laughs> fuck. No, I hate. I'm it. here for the food and the drinks. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'll socialize, but I don't want to talk about football. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. fucking care and less. So, yeah, yeah, I did get deep with these people because a lot of them. Uh, like a few of them are my really good friends that I've known for a long time and they're oh, fucking yeah. they're great dudes and it's not that they're unmotivated or anything they just they found something that makes them happy and it doesn't well, require a lot of stress that's ultimately and just like cool the with doing goal, that though, and you're like you know? yeah and it's like well as long as you're fucking happy doing it I just had to have that moment of realization that like just because they can be happy doing it doesn't mean mm-hmm. that I'm gonna be happy doing right. it right and I will never feel fulfillment if I continue to try to do this. And then when it came to this business, it just became a matter of like, do this or die trying. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, right. straight up. No, yeah. no, legitimately, that's what it is. It's like, here's the deal. There is no other option. Like, yeah, what's it, the plan B? Content, Nothing. It's, <laughs> it's contentment at what cost? Yeah. Right? Right. Like if the cost is that I do not feel fulfilled fulfilled i don't feel fulfilled and that i'm actually like pursuing the things that i'm genuinely passionate about like you're literally just sacrificing every day i wake up i know i'm going for life, a fucking like goal. moments of yeah. your life and, and i got to this point where i was like that shit is fucking unacceptable i have not pursued the things that i am legitimately passionate about and so this year has been like a fucking declaration well, of and especially independence for, in that way where yeah. i'm pursuing all of the fucking things because I feel like I got to play catch up. Like I sold myself short on so many fucking things in my life and I had this realization it was like that's fucking unacceptable. And I'm so happy I, I refused hyped you up to, fucking... to get this shit started. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, I, I fucking refused. No, I just got now to the point I, don't where I was have pissed to... the fuck off and I'm like I fucking refuse to just, you know, just fucking, you know, like like burn out yeah, and, and, and I don't have to and now I don't have to go through those 20 years of what yeah. you went Oh no, we, tried, we had those yeah, conversations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm so happy I I that I was able to motivate you into getting this shit started because if it wasn't for you, this shit wouldn't be started and yeah. it wouldn't fucking, and I would have to go through that fucking process or figure it else right. the fuck out. And it was yeah. just a constant, because before... Well, knowing it, you're not alone and you got a fucking team yeah. around you that's dedicated and like putting in the, the fucking work to do yeah. the shit, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm, I might be stressed out about something. Right. And then I can hit you up and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. You got that or whatever. Like he he was stressing out about work. And I'm like, like Look, dude, you're well, not alone. In this. It wasn't about if, where if uh, there's if there is I have 10 people to contact now. <laughs> yeah. You know, but that's, <laughs> yeah. The but, call list. But that's work <laughs> for you. Yeah, yeah, that's work for you. Yeah. That you, personally, you would prefer not to be doing, right? Well, I mean, I don't mind. It, well, it's just so much every day. Yeah, yeah. But, but but just to know that you have like a team, a few you're not alone. Every day. Yeah. Seems but reasonable it, for my yeah. for me. Yeah. But again, it's like you have a team of people. And you and can now pass we can, that shit off. Yeah, Send yeah. me a list, right? If you're like, yeah. hey, boop boop boop, could you contact these people? But done. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And we could just always hit him up with that. Because if you hit me, I'm not doing it. So yeah, <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, like you, you guys Ryan are will do sales. I was gonna say, like, like, no. nah. it's one <laughs> no. thing. It's one thing to like work and do something that makes you happy, but it's also like way better to work and do something that makes you happy with other like-minded people yeah. at the same yeah. time. Because yeah. you get the synergy, right? You, you get, get the, the energy, synergy. You get builds. the backbone. You get the support. It, like it's a whole system. Yeah, like it doesn't feel draining. Like we've been doing this, right? And we've done this work for other people. Right? And it felt way more draining, right? Right. But then we get no to motivation. set it up. We get to organize the yeah. jobs. We get. To and so this fucking, is where, like, yeah, I definitely won't do sales. But yeah. job planning and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking great at that. Yeah. I'll do that. Logistics. All. But like yeah. the moment you're like, can you call the client? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, can, yeah. I can send I them. I would a t- prefer not to do sales. Yeah, I'm like, too. I'm like, yeah. can you? Yeah. Can I? <laughs> it's like yeah. I can shoot them a text real quick. Is that cool? You're like, I'd prefer you call them. Like, but like, I could probably put it in a text, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, and, like, I it's sought real. out to, yeah. like, you know, I'm trying to actively value the people in my life because I felt like, you know, having money allowed me to show, you know, 
like gifts. I've been a terrible gift giver because I've been fucking poor, and I yeah. like I would give things of myself. Like I wouldn't necessarily give yeah. a monetary gift or something physical or whatever. You but give your presence. Yeah, or you know, or at least try to or make something for someone or you know do some. Yeah, use art your create. Yeah, fucking, use your whatever. creativity to do it. Yeah, because that's and, the only. Yeah, and and I feel like um, in that poverty mentality, it's like. People like gifts, and if you can give a thoughtful gift, like a meaningful gift, or do something, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to be in that space, and I want to be that person, because like, really, in my heart, I want to be generous. I, I'm a generous person, Yeah. but I've never had money to give, so I could always give them my time or be like, oh, hey, I could come do something. Yeah, I've for always you wanted, fucking, like, like yeah. the fact that I've been able to, like, even our producer, I've known him for fucking, you know, he's been my best friend since I yeah. was like 11, so yeah. nice. fucking super getting, dope, talented yeah, person. Yeah, getting to throw money in Brilliant. his pocket makes me feel fucking wonderful. I <laughs> love being <laughs> generous. Right. It's what he I want. Is like, I bad. want. Ah, yeah. yeah, and so yeah, and so, so then I like cool. money. Then my other buddy who we're going to be hiring for the other company that we're doing is like yeah. getting to throw money into his pocket and taking his money worries away. It's like instead of having to worry about work or worry about where it's coming from or anything, like let me take care of you. Go find some stupid ass job working for some fucking asshole. Yeah, exactly. who doesn't give a fuck yeah, about like, you. Come you know work, like, like, yeah. Ah. And I'm like, come work for me. Yeah. You know I'll pay you good. You've been my best friend since I was ten. If I can just. Come on, <laughs> let's right. do this right. shit. Fucking stop working for other people. Be happy. You yeah, know, like happy. I here. Here's the thing. I no, bought no, no. my I bought my no girl a camera. <laughs> I bought my girl a camera for I think camera was uh, her birthday or his mother's day, right? But she had no idea. I went and fucking you know I sneak attacked her with this because she had been talking about <laughs> how she wanted a camera. Anyhow, listen to that shit. So uh, went yeah, got her a camera. Relationship advice. But the same in the same way is like oh she got inspired and she started her own photography thing called opulent evergreens and so she's been been doing that and posting well, yeah and you also and gifted a tool you didn't just gift a fucking random piece of plastic yeah the camera is useful for many many things <laughs> Whoop. sneak attack laser i juice. just got jacked for my laser pen man <laughs> no but same thing like you know i'm i've been trying to hype zach up on on all of his shit too you know like because he's he's super dope at gaming and and he's super dope at skating and you know so, so it's like whatever it's like trying to recognize people's gift acknowledge their gifts acknowledge yeah because like a lot of sometimes people like I know for me, I I'm like modest, and I I'll have, but there's some things that I'm not modest about. Like if I know that I'm dope at something, and I'll just tell you, like I am or or I'm not, or or I'll tell you if I can or can't do it. Um, but then there's some things like art that I'm kind of modest. I'll be like, yeah, you know, uh, I would. For me, it's like I don't know. There's certain parts of it that it's like the technique is what I'm obsessing on. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily the piece itself, but there was a technique oh, that yeah. I was trying to work on. No, and I, then that's what came of me working on that technique. And that that's like well, and that's how you know you're a good artist is you never think you are. Like, well, <coughs> hey, right. yeah. What what program <coughs> have you been listening to, Justin? Oh, are uh, you talking about the the Master Key Society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I've been on that's been part of like the the mind training stuff but it's literally like transmuting the 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 desires of your heart and manifesting them into reality right and like training your subconscious mind to literally things are surprisingly seek out easier to those do things. than other people make them sound yeah I know. it's if you so just true put in the work to do the thing and and, and th i i'm beginning to fucking hate the word work because people have an right. immediate negative connotation with work mm -hmm. that's where well, it's uh, like if you ask your buddy hey you want to come work with me for a while versus Hey, do you want to come get paid to hang some Christmas lights for a minute? Yeah, you change the language and it's like, it's yeah, a that actually sounds yeah. dope. And then so you start with the fucking, you start with the vibe yeah. of it's a good fucking vibe. It's a yes, good work environment. Yes. And then the money's still there. It's still, you. They, it produces the same outcome, but your mental state during which is so fucking different. That's a and good yeah. way to go about right? it. Yeah. No, I yeah. like that a lot. There, I like that. There's this lady in Loveland, Colorado. I... I hate to call her a spiritual advisor because it makes me sound like a pile of sticks bundled <laughs> together. <laughs> but she is that. <laughs> yeah. But no, she says that too. Like, I don't, I've never had a job in my life. I've only had joys. Like, the second it became a job, I went and found another joy. 
<laughs> well, and that's where like I making money with my art has never been work. I have literally like how it started was when I was fucking fourteen and I had just started smoking weed, and you know at that age, my parents were like you never make anything yourself. You can't get paid to fucking smoke weed. You can't fucking make a career out of that. I was like, bitch. Watch me. Fucking watch. Like, <laughs> hold my bong. Yeah, yeah hold and my so, bong. <laughs> and so and then I realized, I was like, I like to draw. Oh, weed people need graphics. What if I just, and then I started drawing funny pictures. Oh, I pictures. respect that. That's, yeah. And then uh. I started drawing funny pictures of weed, and then I just started sending fucking direct messages to people on Instagram. And after fucking a while, one of them was like, yeah, sure. And then from that job, it's just spiraled from there. And then, but the yeah. entire time, it was never a matter of work. It was always like, I want. We to need to smoke. ramp up holiday shirts too. We need I, holiday. I shirts. want to we smoke need to some holiday weed. Shirts. And we still have Frosty the Drill Man from last year. As well. I know. Um, I know. We got to revamp it. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was just a conv- Frosty the Drill Man. <laughs> it was. It was literally a matter. I'm you stopped yourself though. That was good. Fucker. Um. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's just a matter of like, it never worked. It was never work. It was always just I want to smoke weed and draw yeah. cartoons and get paid to oh, do it. But so that and then no, I just that inspired made the that, fuck out of me. And dude. then that I just made space. that happen. Yeah. It's how I was able to do our old work because like when I was thinking about it like just doing the work to get paid, it was not enticing. So no. what I had to do was like it's not about a it's not about the work, it's about the money. And so I had to like switch it from Oh, I'm doing landscaping to get paid to, oh, I'm working out for money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tunes for me, like having music or having like, yeah. Well, this just, is where like, like, we, it's like I could learn at work. work I could out, be learning smoke, about history while I'm working or I could at the be, same time. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's yeah. entirely why I went into blue collar too. It was like, I want to be able to smoke. And like it just so they said then, Womp, no. non-union. Then, yeah, well, and then <laughs> and then I went union and no. realized that was a mistake. Yeah. for that exact reason, because when you start trying to put too many rules on people, like the reason I like blue collar work is because it can be freeing blue as long as you remain collar. in the free yep yeah. part of it. Blue collar, and that's what I'm trying to fucking do because you can. Li- it just becomes fun. Like when it's when you roll up to a job site and you're just fucking bumping tunes and people are laughing and cutting up fucking. Cutting up, making jokes, and fucking it. It's Cutting right. coke and sniffing nah, lines. I yeah. agree. Like, Jesus. I, hate, <laughs> I personally hate having to follow all the L and I rules, but I want my employees to. Yeah, exactly. Doing K on the site. Yeah, you know well, we want to be about. legit. We want the people working for us to be covered. You know, we don't want to compromise somebody. You know, so we're going through the fucking process. You know, to make sure that we're legit and that somebody doesn't end up getting fucked come to work for us and get fucked up and isn't covered you yeah know? yeah that's the that's the main thing yeah you know it's, and well you and gotta like jump through not them some just getting hoops. fucked up but like somebody comes to work and they fuck up we're covered yeah, yeah well yeah yeah it goes yeah, both you, ways yeah, yeah it goes both man lift ways, certified zach what man lift certified. Yeah. ladder ladder okay, certified all the certification yeah, yeah. We're, we're we have to do that before we do the easy bro, i fucking got that shit Really? Ladder certs, ladder certs, and man lift. Yeah, it just certs. sounds like fun. Yeah, honestly, I love man lifts. I wish they would they call them non-binary favorite. lifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the current time. they them lifts. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Person lifter. Speaking of which, <laughs> congratulations. Welcome to the community. I'm super proud of you. Oh, this guy. <laughs> so, oh, shit, it's so stupid. I was actually going to be on some real shit here. I was going to be on some real shit, and then he comes all sideways like that. No, uh, Listen, but, it, but this year. You're a proud member of the community now. It's you okay. Just embrace we it. accept you for who you are. I, that's awesome. I'm really <laughs> glad that's you awesome. all embraced and loved. It's amazing. Yeah. No, no, but it's not on serious, camera. No. But, yeah. this, uh, but this year. Um, has been so I came up with a mission statement like years and years ago and um, we I went to this like leadership training program when I was involved in ministry right was the mission statement to hide your sexuality no no <laughs> no I, well, mean, I got no reason to hide the like, gated community I just 
Well, you, know, you were hiding up dude, until two weeks ago, man. Dudes don't make my dick hard. So well, I like, I don't, for know, the listeners. I don't know what to say about that, right? Like, <laughs> it just doesn't do it for so me. Stop being so scared, man. <laughs> it, it just doesn't do I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I've, I've seen gay porn, and it's really kind of gross. I'm sure you have. It didn't do it. You know, it just didn't do it for me. So How yeah. recently? Like, yeah. what? Like, yesterday? It didn't do it no, for you. I walked in on my to mom's part roommate of with, uh, a, mm-hmm. with a dude. I was going to visit my mom. Oh, this is a <laughs> was it because you weren't on the no. set? So was that Charlie, why I didn't so you know, for you? Hey, you know your friend Charlie, right? Yes. My mom had a Charlie, and he okay. was like a male <laughs> prostitute on the streets of Seattle. He was like a heroin addict and a male prostitute. I'm sure you love this dude. The streets of Seattle, and he looked like Uncle Fester. I see. And, and <laughs> my mom was living with this dude in Birion, and uh, one day I show up, I knock on the door to you know I'm uh, over there to visit my mom. I had talked to her, the, so. Pre cell phone days, by the way. Pre oh, pre cell phone days, Lord. by the way. Just gonna throw that out there. And so I had talked to my mom like a, a couple days before and dude. told her I was I coming just over. Being a fucking ancient yeah. gay dinosaur. Old ass. Jesus. <laughs> what, the fuck? what in the fuck is <laughs> gay dinosaur? Yeah, don't they call that a megasaurus? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh Yo, yes, dude, that's yes. so funny. No, but fuck. um, we the, actually got this shit was so funny. So I I knock on the door, and I'm visiting my mom. So I'm not thinking anything of it. I've gone right. over there like dozens of times, right? So I knock on the door. Some weirdo I open gay the shit door. shouldn't go on, right? No, right. So yeah, no, no, no. I'm not thinking. This shit blew my brain apart. I and so I like open up the door. I'm like, hello, right? And I I walk in, and what I witness is <laughs> my mom's roommate, butt naked, gets up and is rushing down the hallway. I look over, I and, better follow there that guy. This, and there is this <laughs> 15, <laughs> no, bro, this shit was like, I literally was shocked. It There's not a few things that can breach my fucking threshold for fuck, you know, <laughs> fucked up shit. Right. We've talked about some fucked up shit, but dude, this shit really was like, uh, man, I'm like, a pee pee hard. Unacceptable, dude. <laughs> absolutely not that at all. I. It was like one of those moments where I'm like, "Holy fuck!" Should, it was magical. I, I felt like I should inform the authorities. Like honestly, <laughs> right? That's what it felt like. Because there's this. Yeah, kid, it's like an awakening moment. No, dude. There's this kid in there that I knew. Did you want to tell them? from the youth AA shit? And I, I was like, "What the fuck?" And I see him naked running down the hall, and I'm like. What the fuck's going on? I look over on the TV and there is straight hardcore German porn on the fucking TV. This dude has his fist up another dude's ass and he's like <laughs> almost to the fucking elbow, bro. Holy and I'm like, fuck. oh, oh. Like, I'm officer, looking I witnessed no, this and like, I don't know why I'm hard right now. <laughs> I had a, I had a fucking Scooby Doo moment where I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, I'm like, what bro, in the bro. fuck is happening, dude? It, I was like one of the most uncomfortable moments of my fucking life i literally <laughs> no was like, hold up you, I literally, you said he was with a kid there was this 15 year old kid that i knew because oh, i would go to fuck the no because this is when i had just got clean and sober i was going to meetings wait and shit. what's happening <laughs> he ran across <laughs> the <laughs> house with the kid no no he was naked and he had got up and was like going down the hall the kid was fully dressed there was nothing like okay he, he was fully dressed Woo! but he was sitting on the couch and there's a fucking tv with like hardcore German porn, like you anal fisting. Have a f- Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! So this dude's Bro. just fucking jacking off with this kid, just like watching. I don't watching. know what was happening. I didn't Bro, see any why of that shit. You? I saw his fat, naked Uncle Fester looking <laughs> ass scurrying himself down the hallway, and this kid's oh. over there, and he looks over at me, and he's just like, "Hey," <laughs> and I'm like. Uh, I just came by to see if my mom was here. Uh, bro, and you bro. didn't tell the authorities? Dude, I didn't know what to do. Ah, what the there fuck? was no evidence or proof of what. They were just watching, hanging out, just a couple of dudes. Just a watching couple, some of hard dudes. couple of guys. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Oh. bro. Oh. Back to my bro. place and work out. <laughs> bro. Like, like, even still to this day. Listen to some Jack Johnson. No, like, it legitimately made me sick to my stomach. Like, it was, it was a moment where I was just like, uh, I Dude, talked to my mom about it, and she was like... I didn't like, figure out about Jack Johnson until I was, like, fucking, like, 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did I miss this? <laughs> yeah. That shit was fucking wild, though. Yeah, that's the only and time... And procreate. That's the only time I've ever seen any any gay porn, other than on, like... 
There's been like a few. Search. No, I'm playing. Yeah, Google search. Listen, you can that. check yeah. any of my devices. I get it. I don't give a fuck. Deny, <laughs> yeah. deny, don't deny, deny. Yeah, deny. yeah you, so, know, okay. you know, the, the Nile isn't, isn't, you know, just Egypt, see, right? the isn't just a river in Egypt, right? The Nile isn't just a river in Egypt. You'll see checks with dicks in my my feed, but I didn't type it in myself. Yeah, you just <laughs> yeah. Kind of yeah. came out. Yeah, no, it was for research purposes. Yeah, exactly. Right? You're just doing yeah. research. Right. I wonder like, why listen. they were recommending it to you. you know, I, know. I thought That's after what that. I thought too. <laughs> yeah, so when... Uh, I thought after that episode came out, you know, you'd be a little more open about it. But if you want to go back into the clock, that's your own deal. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so so <laughs> Zach Zach gave me his old computer, right? And he oh, was shit. like, he was like mortified. He's like, oh my god, there's files on there. Like, no, horrible. What are you shit. talking about? Horrible. What are you shit. talking about? And he's like, well, I may have watched some chicks and dicks anime, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? Bro, now? I had some, I had some crazy, crazy, I had some crazy <laughs> ass hentai on there that should not have been seen. Yeah. <laughs> now, now here's the hentai deal. Is I ridiculous. haven't. <laughs> He admitted to it. I never even found anything, and, and I never then looked. I factory reset that bitch like two <laughs> days later. I wiped that motherfucker. No, but the yeah. look on his face, he was did like, you "Oh god, mortified." Your brain, right. dude. The mo- <laughs> yeah. How yeah. much did you shit yourself that exact moment where you were like? Oh god, the oh files! God. No, <laughs> no, this <laughs> can't be happening. Right I now. remembered I, about I, them, I had, and you're like, I fucking oh, bolted shit. out, and I went to the living room, and I'm like, no, like, da 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 da. Wait, 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 wait. Before yeah. you, uh, <laughs> yes, it's not what you think. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I didn't jack off to it. It was just for research. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right. It was for a school project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. school project. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we were in health shit. class. They were teaching us about anatomy. Yeah. I just figured. I was uh, learning. <laughs> I was learning. I'd never like, seen a futanari before. <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck is a futanari? <laughs> so imagine. Yeah, I don't know. Either. You know hermaphrodites? Yeah. So imagine like a her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! I know what that. What is it? Tanuki? Seen hentai? Tanuki? You, you seen hentai, yeah. right? You know what hentai is, right? Now imagine like a busty hentai <laughs> chick, hentai Hen- with the a kids vagina are these days? and a cock and balls. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Horse no, it, cock. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 an it's a like the side like your forearm. Like if like in the picture, it's like the chick's forearm yeah. is the size of her cock. Right, <laughs> yeah, bro, it's right. outrageous. Right. Now you've seen like the monster cock hentai's banging. Oh, I used to make yeah. memes yeah. with these photos, bro. <laughs> I used to make fun of Ethan with this shit, <laughs> dude. Yeah. See, and that's where I've had some very questionable things on my computer as well, saved for various <laughs> purposes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and bro, that, I, I did purposes. have that moment yeah. where like locked away in the dungeon. Where where my dad was like, uh, I, I got home one day, and my dad was like, Yeah, I, I saw your computer needed updated, so I just, uh, you know, I logged yeah, in and, and I, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I just, I just went through and I just updated everything, and I was like. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm like waiting. No. I'm like waiting for the shoe to drop. Like, did he find the? Yeah. He didn't, and he didn't say he anything. Didn't. Now I, what? And if, then he didn't say if, anything. And he walked away. And so I was like, all right. Now imagine. Like, I like went. I looked. I was like, all right. I think these files are buried enough. I don't think he found it. One of those it. moments mm-hmm. where he did see. But he was too embarrassed to say anything. No, he totally <laughs> wanked it to your point. <laughs> oh, dude, father Fucked son up. bonding? No, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, when we were at the comedy, dude, did you did you hear the joke? Did you hear the joke about his dad finding his fucking pocket pussy? Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, using it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> What Tunnel buddies. <laughs> but he's like, I, I forget the fucking punchline to it, but he was like, he's like something like, oh yeah, my dad cleaned out my car the other day and he found my pocket pussy or right, whatever. And I was like, I was like, oh, did you make sure to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds first? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> he's like, any more than 30 seconds and you're going to burn yourself. No, he yeah. actually puts it in the freezer because they like it ice cold. Take me to Freezer yeah. Town, baby. <laughs> oh, I only no. know that by reference. I've never seen that, Dude, but I know that it has to do so with true. fucking. All cheerleaders must die. Is yeah, the movie. yeah. If you have not seen necrophilia, it, is what it has it. to do. Okay, with seriously. Uh, anybody, PSA for anybody out there: it, get yourself as much weed as you can grab, and probably some alcohol. And if you don't have access to any of that, 
your parents probably have prescription pills. Don't go go into those, but that's just for your own information. Uh, go Bro, on the what? internet and look up <laughs> all cheerleaders. What is mindset. happening right now? <gasps> Thanks for interrupting yeah. the show. Go on and fucking Google all cheerleaders must die and watch that fucking movie. Fuck. I it think used I've to, seen it. it I used think to I've be actually on, seen it. It used to be on Netflix back when they had uh, star ratings, and it was a one-star horror oh. movie, and it <laughs> is... One of the best pieces of cinema I've ever seen. It's amazing. It, the plot, very complicated. It, these cheerleaders nah, die. Surprise, I think we've surprise. talked about this movie before. Probably. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm ta- never going to watch it. So. Cause take me to free. <laughs> oh, we I'm have. I'm never if we, going to watch okay, it. Okay, yes, we are. We will do a live stream and we will do a live. Watching it. Yeah, we will do no, a live. No, but we will do it? a what live stream again? watch along. For other people to watch the fucking movie with us. Prove it. Are we going to do this? What, what, no, what is it called again? All Cheerleaders Must Die. Yeah. God, Promise it there's tits going to be shown. I can't even believe that money went Have towards you seen producing it? No, such a fucking... Okay, well, there is tits. <laughs> Perfect. See? This makes there me want to produce a movie. Like, oh, just knowing movie? that s- this pile of yeah, shit yeah, yeah, exists. Yeah. Listen, man. It's because like there's three movies that do it for me. It's Zombiever, Yoga Hosers, and fucking All Cheerleaders Must Die that are just like perfect pieces of cinema that are just like I cannot believe this <laughs> Did you ever watch made. Anaconda or Cabin Fever? Anaconda. <laughs> okay, those up those are terrible Cabin movies. Fever. Yes. Those are terrible yes. movies. <laughs> See, those rank in like the same So anyways, point being They were unintentionally <laughs> funny, Cube, but these ones I think the might have been yeah. intentionally funny. Um I don't know. The cheerleaders die and uh a dude has sex with one of them. I saw a clip and from Yoga Hosers. That's where the line take look, me to Freezer Town, baby, because he's I, a virgin, so he doesn't know that vaginas are supposed to be warm. Huh. So he literally, you hear the line, he sticks it in, and the line, he's like, he's like, man, I didn't expect it to be so cold. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Jesus and then by the end of it, he's like, oh yeah, take me to Freezer Town, baby, <laughs> and it has stuck in my head and cemented ever since. So I, I had, I had a, a nickname. Oh fuck, this is fucked up. <laughs> My son's next to me in here. I can, there's certain. I, there's, I can't. I can't finish the story. Anyhow, um, you have to no, now. no. It's I. I can't. You're on no, camera. But like, I'm a big fan of Kevin Smith. <laughs> I fucking love Kevin Smith. But Yoga Hosers is fucking hot garbage. I I saw like. I, love I fucking it. refuse. I it's love so movie. garbage. Never I can't heard of even it. enjoy it at all. It feels like a you layup. Will love it. It Yoga just felt hosers? like. You will love it. It's like got Johnny even, Depp in it, dude. Even on really? the hustle right. level, like it just feels like a layup to like, mm, I, I don't know. Oh, it's dude, gar- listen. It's the garbage. Movie is it just felt like oh I can hot, make some money garbage. and have my right. daughter <laughs> Nazi make sausages. Some money That's off all you have to know is shitty, Nazi sausages. I fucking can't watch even the movie. Vibe like with in it Seinfeld? No, 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 not like in Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, I mean, like the soup Nazi. I mean, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but there may or may not allegedly be poorly 3D animated sausages that are dressed in Nazi uniforms with Hitler mustaches nice. that try to attack <laughs> the main characters. This is the main villain of the movie, by the way. Like the fact that any money went towards producing this, it depresses me. <laughs> Like it really does. It's like soul crushing. I'm like, this is the worst thing. Like, I, I don't know, dude. Like, have you ever watched? You've done something better with your time. Yeah. Like they yeah. clearly I used just... the whole budget for that movie to get Johnny Depp because the animation they use for the Nazi sausages is like the, the worst shit I've ever seen. But it just makes it better. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, you know my fidget spinner idea. My 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 yeah. fidget spinner idea. Yeah. Zach found a company and they do a sleeve, they do a sleeve Further. version, Further. right? <laughs> and they have graphics on it. It's actually pretty fucking dope. But it's another. It's they want like twenty five dollars. But it's a sleeve you put over your lighter <laughs> and it's a fidget spinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but they want they want like twenty five dollars for this shit, and I'm like mm, that price point. I don't know. I'm not gonna buy a lighter toy. Maybe I don't I don't know I'm but I'm not like a <coughs> five bucks five bucks is like right, a nice like because I feel like it's an investment where I'd go I've got five dollars burning a hole in my pocket maybe this ten will be fun. maybe and then, ten and then if you lose it because inevitably you're gonna lose that lighter and yeah. eventually it's gonna be gone now but what if what if it has importance because you put well like, and the and there is it. and so but listen I've had, to- I've had tokens <laughs> I've had tokens. <laughs> 
I've had toker pokers, <laughs> or you right? Lose it in your prison and those pocket. like those entirely even change the outline of the lighter. You'd think it'd be very easy to keep track of them, and I do for a while. They'll probably go through like two or three lighters with a toker poker, but eventually, just like all lighters, it just magically fucking yeah. disappears. Into the those ether. are the same. No, I, I had an idea for an app back in the day to put the RFID chips in the bottom of the little circle they have on Bic lighters, and you could like track where your lighters actually go on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. So yeah. my friend, uh, we had talked about uh, we were doing like if your uh, homie yoinks your lighter, you just give yeah. him a call like, hey, hey, I see hey. my lighters at your house. Yeah, yeah so motherfucker, <laughs> come up out your like, pocket. I'm cool if you use it. Just make sure to give it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so we were doing signage back in the day and doing like vinyl signs and stuff. Yeah. And he was taking like the scrap from the vinyl at work, and he'd like had this box of just scrap vinyl and he was doing these like lighter graphics and he was like, yeah, it'd be cool. Like fucking like make stickers or, or whatever for specifically for lighters. So you, you could customize your lighter. Right. And we were thinking, we started working together and we were thinking about calling it the lighter side. Right. And you can have like <laughs> jokes or fucking whatever. Yeah. Right. But you could put a chip in that fucking sticker and fucking bloop, have, like in the sticker. Right on the side, and then have a dope ass graphic, too. And yeah, I don't know, but it was, anyhow. Where are we sitting on time? Yeah. Check the time on the Ableton. That's that'll give you the total time. Ow. Yeah. And then I want to uh, go back to. Uh, it's either on the top or the bottom about, of the play track. Uh, before about okay. that uh, leadership training course that I took. Oh. Uh, just on some serious know, shit but, here. Right. Right. Um, 14 minutes until the end of the 22 minute video. Yeah. Oh, okay. bam. Hey, we're like right on minutes. track. Yeah. Yeah. We're like right on track. Yeah. So this year we'll go has to the been end of this, this camera segment. Yeah. Th this year has been. Um, revolutionary yeah no seriously but like it's war. all based on my mission statement that i came up with at this leadership training course and the mission statement is that my purpose is to educate encourage and empower people to persistently pursue their passion and i'm trying to fucking live that shit you know so i'm trying to hype people up on their shit i'm trying to be hyped on my shit and it starts with the fucking vibe right start with the vibe and then work backwards from there because it'll figure itself out the vibe will prepare the environment for what you want to manifest if you ever don't know what the vibe should be just yeah. listen to prof for a minute and you'll be there yeah and let your motherfucking nuts, nuts hang. hang if it's warm <laughs> enough to you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Let your motherfucking nuts hang metaphorically if it's too cold. Yeah. Yeah. And so let the fucking man do the thing. Yes, sir. Well, if you made it this far, go check out fucking patreon.com slash stonedape3s podcast for more fucking bonus content. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We got it all. We're on fucking Spotify. We're on Google Podcasts. We're on Anchor. Fucking. We need a heater. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Comment. Do the fucking things. Yes. Please. The numbers have been doing fucking fantastic. We've been steadily growing. It's great to fucking see the new people here and the new viewers. Glad you're fucking here. If you made it this far, stay inspired. Do your shit. Give us a follow. Yeah. Do the we fucking We got new things. content coming out, too. Shit's about to be dope, so stay tuned. Sir. And, and in the meantime... Love our viewers. And in the meantime... Fuck, fuck on, on and, and fuck, fuck off. off. Nice.